what's going on guys i'm going to be teaching you how to line up and fade in the beard so for this part we have our liners we're taking about middle of the ear with a little um flappy thing gets on your ear balding it out with our liners we're using the cordless and this t outliners i do like these a lot for balding out then we're going to come in with our balders make it all smooth um it's you can use whatever balders you want i've been using the stylecraft rebel they sent me those and i do like those a lot i enjoy using them they're very smooth and they get close to the skin so for this fade process we have our jrl clipper um, a lot of people ask me why i use these clippers um i don't know why i just i mean i, I like them they're very smooth they feel like fast feeds to me if you guys do not know what fast feeds are they're oster fast feeds I do like them a lot they're very smooth and also get close because uh, i zero gap them pretty well so we have our lever all the way open as you've seen in the beginning and then we close it up and then halfway try do not do not go lower than the initial first guideline that we made because if you go lower it's going to keep making the fade lower and lower and you do not want that especially with people with, with beards because they're very picky of how they have their beard and how low they want the fade so now we're going to come in with our one guard and what's good about these clippers is that they the uh the wall guards they fit on these clippers so that's a good thing so we have uh one guard we're not really making a guy line we're just blending it down um i'm just trying to take out as much dark spots as i can so yeah again don't try to make any hard lines especially in beards because it, it, they are really hard to take out because it beards they grow differently than you know hair so now we have our zero guard. Like I said, we're just gonna be taking out all the dark spots that we can see. Uh, I close it up halfway, then open. I just play with the levers as much as I can, just trying to keep that fade in that area. So just try not to keep it, you know, take it lower and lower. be doing the back part of the beard um, jawline sideburn area whatever you want to call it the back part of the beard <laughs> i'm using my babyless liners these are my shower pierce clippers so i am going to be using it with caution try to be light light-handed try not to you know press too hard so as you guys can see i am using my other liners because my client his skin did get a little sensitive with the other liners, so I'm using these ones instead. These ones I do use for balding out and for kids cuts. Um, they're sharp, but they don't really hurt. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but they just don't hurt. You should have in your arsenal with your liners, ones that are sharp and your hitters, and ones that you know are sharp but don't hurt as much. Or, you know, kids liners, the ones that you use on, your, on the kids, you know? Um, because it is very important you do not want to cut anyone especially kids you know because parents and you know i don't want to get into it you guys you guys know so i'm gonna be using my straight razor right here i'm not lining it up before i use straight razor a lot of people do that i don't do that because of again client skins they get sensitive especially if you do a liners and then you come in with a straight razor yeah yeah that's gonna leave quite a mark on my client's face if i do that i don't just do it with him i do it with everyone and what you can do to you know obviously you know smoothen out the face or make it you know much not as you know to make it better is if you use hot towel put on the client's face for a good like minute minute and a half opens up the pores you know obviously makes the skin all like nice and soft so i do that and also to make an arch with the with the straight razor it seems hard but it really isn't hard what you got to do is make your first line and then go in right there if you're having trouble i always do this i always take a step like four or five feet back i look at it and i see where i want my you know my lineup to be and i visualize where the lineup will be and then i just boom do it with the straight razor that seems kind of hard you know to explain and it sounds it sounds easier in my head but this look at where you want your lineup to be in your head create an imaginary line and just do it like that that's like the best way i can say it because you know 
I do that with my even with my lineups too. Just just create a line, imaginary line in your head, and think about it where you want it to be, and try that. As you guys can see kind of towards underneath the ear my client's skin did get irritated so that's what I was talking about right here you see uh, it's it's normal you know it happens to you know all of us you know um, if you see that just don't freak out I mean it's just a reaction towards the liners people's skins are like that you know but I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for you know sticking with me my Instagram's at the top, you know, also be at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any good feedback, please comment down below. I appreciate you guys. Take it easy. I'm out.